Gamers, we are back. This is the sixth map, if I am not mistaken. Is it sixth? Sixth free-for-all map that we have done. And it's Archipelago as announced. And today we got Gold Edition Video Gamers. We got Smoke Weed Every Day. Literally every day. The Ottoman Chad. He's a Ottoman one-trick pony, I think. Wait. Bro, what are you? Why is he making military school? Is he gonna rush someone immediately? Bro, where is he rallying his workers? Guys, he is high. Listen. There's a reason his name is Smoke Weed every day. All right, let's say that. He's the orange gamer. Haken, the yellow Chinese gamer over here spawning in the middle, which he might get rushed, by the way. Uh, we got Market, the blue Mongol. That already has a dock out. We got Ruiji, another Ottoman, by the way. Another Ottoman. We got English. Peteraika, Peteraika, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name. Uh, the, the red English gamer. We got another English 60s, the purple English. Then we got Diablos, the green up acid. And we got Teal, Voter, Spi, uh, another up acid. So we got two abacids, two English, Ottoman, Ottoman, Mongol, and Chinese. Now, the interesting thing is that ottoman and french are actually not bad sieves on the on the water maps you might think they are because it's like well like why you're not you're not gonna make knights with french or like why would you play ottoman but ottoman has grand galley in h3 that is strong as fuck and it's not only strong as fuck but it also serves as a military school so it actually will produce units inside of it and then you can just unload it, the enemy territory like men at arms and kill their eco or something. Uh, French also has galley ass, uh, which is pretty, pretty strong. So both of those civs are viable. Uh, if you think about it, there's actually, in my opinion, no bad civ on water. And I'm gonna tell you why, because uh, people were asking earlier, like which, which civ is uh, uh, best on water, which civ is the worst. I think every Civ genuinely, like hybrid maps are different in one-on-one, -on -one, but in FFAs, you can play any Civ on a full water map and do well. The reason for that is English has cheaper boats, 10% cheaper, and Admiralty, which is probably the best upgrade in the game on water. Increase the range of your combat ships by one. So that's super strong. And you can go Abbey of Kings. Uh, on water actually so you can put abbey of kings here and it will actually heal your ships so it's really really strong um you have abbasid that recently got changed this upgrade used to be shit now it increases the health of military ships all military ships 10 percent and the way it works is a lot of your military ships will take an extra hit from the enemy before they die and your docks are cheaper and you also have a strong land economy, so that's always good in uh, in, in water maps. This is also opposite. Ottoman, I mean, I mentioned the strongest part about Ottoman. Uh, obviously, they have Imperial Fleet Upgrade for Imperial, for a gunpowder ship's uh, production speed and movement speed. But their strongest thing is Grand Galley in Castle, uh, because they basically act as military schools. And you can make the landmark... Um, uh, the Soldahani trade network that's gonna just give you like 260 gold per minute with zero points. It's very nice. China, I mean, they have super strong eco and they got bow chads with nested bees attack and their docks produce 20% faster. You got Mongol that a lot of people also think it's not good, but this upgrade, piracy, you get 25 wood to 25 gold when you sink an enemy ship. So this upgrade, the longer the game goes, you get insane amounts of value. Every time you kill a ship, you get 50 resources back. So you can get crazy, crazy good value. You can use stone uh, from Uvu that to upgrade emplacements everywhere. You can do double villager production on land. Like there's a bunch of stuff you can do. So it's very, very nice. Um, then you have Ottoman here again. English, French has galley ass, like I mentioned. 
which is a very strong ship, and they have guild hall, which you can get stone, which is super important, and their trade on water, they get double resources. I don't know if you know that. Um, they actually get triple resource, right? Because normal trading ships get two, but I think French get three resources. Um, that's their thing. And then you have Rus that can transform their ships, and their fishing ships are really, really strong. You, they get extra wood. And what do you have? HRE. Honestly, on full water map, probably one of the sieves that have the least amount of impact or upgrades is HRE, but you can put relics in docks for HRE to increase their attack speed. Um, oh yeah, you have Delhi and Mali. Uh, I would probably say actually Delhi is most likely the worst water sieve. What what unique upgrade does Delhi have? Just to put scholars in docks, right? I would say Delhi is probably the worst water sieve on like this kind of water map, but um, Malian actually uh, is not bad at all. They have a unique upgrade for their archer ships and uh, they have an important passive, which is their uh, docks increase the movement speed of nearby ships by 15% and they get passive gold. So Mali on, wa on this kind of water is actually not that bad, to be honest. All right, anyway, these guys are aging up. We see no age, wait, no age up from green yet? Huh? Oh, he's aging up already. How did I miss that? Kick W. Okay. We got culture wing coming, culture wing from teal already. We got trade network, obviously, on this map. Uh, China has not aged up yet. Holy shit. Haken went with triple dock with China. He's got 21 fishing ships. And triple dock with China, they produce 20% faster, too. We got Mongol over here with deer stones, of course, because what else are you going to make? Ah la la, Luigi. Ah la la. What is this, man? Ah, oh, sacre bleu. He's not even gathering from it. That's the saddest part. English, Council Hall. Now, you can go Council Hall, but a better play is to make Abbey of Kings right here. Because it will heal your ships. So. I don't know what the meta here is. We see green scouting. Green is patrolling? Scouting? I don't know what he's doing with... Because he's all the way down. I don't know what he's doing all the way there. Wait, why is he... What is he doing? Oh, he's scouted everywhere. Okay. I mean, sure. So, I don't know what the meta is. These guys are also golds, by the way. Not everyone's playing water maps. So... Um, that's one thing to consider. I have no idea what their plan is going to be. Uh, we see 60s already with a bunch of fishing ship or uh, uh, um, galleys going around. Some players are skipping army. Green got a transport ship for some reason. He's just patrolling with his ships. I'm not sure why. Um, so yeah, we'll see what their plan is. China is going to be in an insane spot, by the way. Look at his food. He could age up to castle and then soon after to imperial. Uh oh. And Mongol is coming in hot. He's gonna start dealing damage right here. Now listen, I hope he doesn't attack pink as well. Oh la la. And pink went fishing on two different sides in front of two different opponents. And he's not even getting attacked, by the way, by red or blue. He's getting attacked by a third player. Oh la la. He gets mowed down completely. And... Huh? He's gonna expand to the middle? Uh... I mean, can you... Can you play like that? Like, what's the goal here? Okay, let's say he expands here like two, three more TCs. What's the goal? You could potentially, like, make a bunch of, like, Springles and defend the middle or something. But you kind of have to go on land in order to... Or on water, sorry, in order to win the game. So I'm not... I'm not really sure. I guess we'll see. Uh, Orange doesn't have a lot of fishing ships, and this kind of comes down to inexperience, I would say. Um, 
like I, I like I think yellow is properly set up for like an FFA. He's got a shit ton of fishing ships. You know, he's chilling. Probably green too. Look at that. Like that's that's the amount of shit fishing ships you need. Twenty seven. They should all get these upgrades, by the way, and this because uh, that's pretty good. And he's going with TC also. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. You gotta run, brother. You gotta run. Ottoman, the pink gamer, is getting banged from this side too. Now, Mongol is attacking two players, and this is a big no no, guys. This is not how you FFA. I've talked about this before. So he's getting pink to attack him, and yellow might attack him too. That, that's always a scary thing. Ottoman over here, smoke weed every day, blaze it. He's gonna age up first, and uh oh, Diablos, where are you going, brother? 60s is wild as fuck right now. He should get a blacksmith upgrade. He has blacksmith, but no upgrade. 60s is wild as fuck. He's attacking everyone as well. On top, there's fighting. Ah, oh, no, look at that. I mean, funnily enough, blue has enough units to kill this. And he doesn't have arrow slits. Did he use up his stone? No, he didn't. He needs more fishing ships. He doesn't have the piracy upgraded. Only two docks. Oh, lo, lo. I mean, he's gonna be fine. Purple, okay, purple attacked red. Purple attacked pink. He attacked, attacked teal and green. This guy is speedrunning making enemies. He's wild. He is absolutely wild right now. And, uh, by the way, on Archipelago or on island maps in general, you can't really stay on your island forever. I mean, technically you can, but you're not going to have any income because your wood is going to run out eventually and then you're kind of screwed. The biggest problem with water maps is actually not the gold, it's the, it's the wood that runs out. And blue... I mean, like I said, China has way more economy, so he has way more ships right now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah la la. So, Mongol has 250 food per minute. He has lost so many fishing ships. On the other side, China has 1.3k food per minute. So, he is in a way, way, way better spot. God damn, brother. I'm scared to look how many of these guys got wheelbarrow. What the fuck? Bro, look at- Oh my god. <laughs> this ga okay, these games are wild. I definitely did not expect uh, one of the guys to just drop like 20 units and start making rams to ram the middle TCs. And right now, blue looks to be in a little bit of trouble. He, uh, Pink is losing the water on this side, but he does have TC here, which for now is not going to be taken down anytime soon. And uh, Haken is blasting through blue right now. Blue, is he aging up? No age up in sight. No nothing. No arrow slits either. On the bottom side, we do see another encounter with teal and green. Obviously, teal is ramming the green on the middle. Green is making walls, he's making towers, he's making units. And where's purple going? Dude, purple is wild as fuck. Orange, meanwhile, is just AFK. Orange has not had any interaction. Orange is actually the only player that has not had any interaction with other guys. And that's because he's smoking weed every day. This guy is blazed out of his mind right now. He's sitting on his computer. Look at his fucking view. He's like, oh god, I hope I don't get attacked. That's it. That's it. Look at him. Oh, he's Imperial, by the way. And he's getting Elite Army Tactics first. So, okay, Pepe left. So, he's... He made five military schools. 
But he could have made five grand galleys and then made them military schools instead. Big fight on the bottom. English versus English. There's some arrow slits too. No admirality. No admirality. Both of these guys, a little bit of a pepe dance. And uh, Red does not have the upgrades, by the way. He queued up. What? Where is it? Oh god, he queued up the upgrades in all the same uh, dock. Oh la la. Green already has the upgrades. Green should attack. He's getting plus two. Oh no. He queued up plus two at the end. Oh no, plus one. Wait, what the fuck? Oh la la. Let's see what he can do. Let's see what he can do. Wait, how does he have plus one armor? Oh, that's from, uh, never mind, that's from the upgrade. Oh, that's gonna be a big hit. That's gonna be a disgusting hit. Oh la la. And everything goes down. Meanwhile, on the other side, blue is getting obliterated by yellow. Yellow is still in castle, but once yellow ages up, the TC in the middle is dead. Once yellow ages up, oh no. Oh no, red, this is not. Poor guy. Meanwhile, on the bottom. <laughs> Holy shit. Meanwhile, on the bottom, the action is happening too. Teal did break the TC of green, and now he's beating his ass on the water too. There's action everywhere, guys. Like I'm trying to I'm trying to catch up. Orange is building transport ships. I don't I think Orange needs he's building more transport ships, bro. You got how many transport ships do you need? Elite men at arms. Okay, he's gonna unload somewhere and kill someone on land. And uh I don't know who he's gonna go for because he hasn't interacted with anyone. So I guess he's just gonna pick a side. And uh yellow. Oh no. If he comes here, he might actually sink his ships before they they unload, which would be pretty funny. Like orange. Uh what he needed to do after he got Imperial, he needed to produce Karax. Like you need water control. Because, for example, let's say he drops all his units to Teal and he kills his ass. He's never going to get out on water again, you know, because the other guys have the water control. Baglas are now out for Abbasids. English players are trying to kill each other. Abbasid players are going after each other. They want there to, to only be one up acid gamer. And this is so close. Yellow season, right? Oh no. Oh brother. Ugh. Dude, orange is now like, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> orange is like, I'm in danger. You know what I do right here? As orange, I just fill up the ships and I just drop it in in uh, yellow's base as a fuck you. Ruin his economy completely. I mean, might as well, right? I mean, there's no way he beats him. And there's, he's got a great bombard, but not in range. But he's got it. that's gonna be the second victim now mongol has a lot of forest left okay so he can rebuild he's making some pastures making a siege workshop which is not a bad choice to kill the the ships with spring oats. is he gonna shoot okay one tap that he needs to be careful with the bomber Oof. yellow is he gonna target fire? He's killing workers, but uh, I mean, I guess it's fine. Look at that army, dude. 30 men at arms. If you actually just make docks here and transport and kill his ass. On the bottom, 
Oh la la, Diablo taps out. I mean, he is dead. Let's be honest. He lost the TC in the middle from Teal. He lost all the water. And now he's getting unloaded by Teal. Teal's actually playing it pretty well. Oh no, you don't want to do that. No, 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 you don't. Wait, Janissaries are actually doing pretty well against ships, funnily enough. DPS wise. Now, this is the part as yellow where it's like, okay, you've done some damage. That's pretty cool. But he needs, he should have like started making ground army to kill blue. Because then if he kills blue, he can make a market here and then trade through the middle. Because there are two neutral trade posts. And if I'm teal, I probably start trading here. <clears throat> you make a market like over here or something. Or you can also trade with, with the neutral docks now. Meanwhile, on this side, we're going to get in position for a long game. Okay, now I'm in position. Uh -huh. Pink, I mean, he's kind of alive, but again, I'm not I'm not sure what his plan is long term from here on out. Maybe taking the relics would be pretty good. Oof. And you can clearly see, by the way, even if they're gold, you can kind of clearly see that some players just have a better idea on how to play water. Because they just played it more, right? Maybe they did some more FFAs, maybe they play water maps on, on the ladder. Like, I would say yellow, purple's playing pretty well. He's mixing in galleys, Carex, which, by the way, in one-on-one, -on -one, you gotta make Sprinkle ships. But in an FFA, if you have crazy enough economy, you can actually go pure galley and rush castle because they do so much damage. So you can kind of go for that too. Red. Trying to recover. Oh, I wish he made that Berkshire like here, man. Just fucking send it right here. And I would say Teal's playing pretty well. Blue, kind of not enough eco for what he was trying to do. And, and orange, I mean, if this worked, it can still work. If he drops off somewhere, he can actually kill someone immediately. So what orange is doing is not necessarily bad. It's just that he needed more protection on, um, what's it called? If he needed more protection on water. He would have been fine. And uh, sacred side. Oh no, purple, purple. You gotta go back, bro. Berkshire's not doing that much damage actually to ships. Purple, you gotta go back, brother. That army, this army is actually not that strong. Purple is a way bigger army, but he just lost it all. And English, the red English is kind of denting him in pretty badly, actually. I feel like purple had a bigger army earlier. And now he just got absolute. Ooh, that demo hit! Holy fuck! I feel like he just lost his whole army. Does he not realize? No, he doesn't realize at all. Bro, behind you! Ah oh, la la! Ah oh, la 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 la! Yellow just dropped units to kill blue, and the massive unload, dude. Unload in his base. There's two more ships that are full. Just move away from the water. Just move away from the water. Move away from the water. Oh no, dude. If I'm orange, I just go for the landmarks now. Get in, brother. Oh la la. Okay, the, the bombards are stuck. Wait, he brought villagers too. He brought 10 villagers too. There's no way yellow holds this. Yellow's okay, yellow has two landmarks here, but he is omega fucked on land. And if orange plays this correctly, he can eliminate everything and then sh just shoot from here and kill the last two landmarks. He is in a lot of trouble. Meanwhile, see, this is the thing about FFAs, guys. 
Blue doesn't know that he just needs to garrison and, and wait for Yellow to lose. And this is why you shouldn't surrender in every phase. Because he doesn't know that Yellow will literally die in like 2-3 minutes, right? So if he just says, eh, I'm dead, and he taps out, he didn't need to be dead. And this is why I say it to people, like, you should never leave in an FFA too early. Like, because you never know what's happening in the player's base that's killing you. And in this case, well, he's getting fucked. Making a keep. Yeah, he's going for the landmark straight away. Uh, does he have any landmarks that he can make? Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna make the cock tower right here. Yo, he's gonna go for the cock. But, okay, so Blue should see in-game that someone's destroying Hakim's landmarks, by the way. Yeah, this is a gold game. We're doing the platinum one right after. Oh, he can go for the gatehouse. That's right. Uh, he doesn't have the cock tower, right? No. No, he doesn't. So he can go for the cock tower or gatehouse. Purple is now turning on Teal and beating his ass because Teal attacked him earlier. Yellow is trying to eliminate. Okay, he's building Great Wall Gatehouse. He needs to. He, he's gonna have time for sure. He's gonna have time. He's fine. But you know what Orange has got? He got a lot of wood that he can take from Yellow now, which is very nice. On the bottom side, Carex are melting right now. He's got them every upgrade in the game. And Teal is now officially a land boy. But he does have shit on the middle, by the way. Which is very nice for him. Like, this is a lot of wood. And again, the wood is the biggest resource of water maps. Look at this orange. Orange is going for it. He is like, yo, I gotta eliminate him. I gotta... He is licking his high lips right now. Smoking weed. Joint after joint coming in and out. He thinks he's about to see elimination. Blue is smacking his lips too. And he's like... Huh? Why is he not dead? What? He's like, huh? Where are landmark? Oh, yo, he's gonna make towers. I mean, he has to defend it. It's his last landmark. Yo, if if purple would come and just beat his ass now, that'd be so funny. Red is playing defensive. He's chopping through his wood. Dude, if I'm red, you know what I do here? You protect this wood line. You put one boat here to not let him chop the wood. And you save it for yourself. Okay, I appreciate Blue's uh, staying in the game because of what I said, you know. But, I mean, the same reason, like, he probably saw that Yellow is losing landmarks. But, unlucky, you know, Yellow did manage to get away. And uh, he's gonna survive for now. So now the problem is, Yellow has been fighting for a while, and he had had a massive ship fleet and now this is pretty shit fleet he's got 19 springle ships and well purple has got 18 carracks so yeah oh lo, lo, bro wake up orange orange oh my god orange orange Oh, these are one tapping the ships. Chad, look at this. Shoot. They're one tapping them. Oh no, pink. No, pink. Pink. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Pink. No, 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 no. Pink, no.
You know what's funny? How many players in this lobby made university for the the gunpowder upgrade? Because that impacts ships. Oh, there we go. Teal has it. Or Teal is going for it. I mean, this fight... Like, th these ships, Grand Galleys are really strong. They actually got 900 health, which is crazy good. But this is just way too many ships, man. Way too many. And blue held, by the way. Well, he didn't really hold. Yellow moved his palace guards for some reason. Instead of eliminating his ass. And yellow is on 95 out of 50 supply, by the way. He cannot produce anything. So yellow just went from a hero to a zero real quick. Real quick. No trading yet. Teal could trade from here, man. From here to like there. And right now we got a little bit of an AFK gaming, so we're gonna speed up through the mountain parts. Yellow's looking pretty dead, funnily enough, and I think orange can just recover. Like, slowly kill the ships with bombards and then just load up and go next guy. I got some bad news. Oh, don't do it. Don't. Don't do him like that. He just survived, man. Don't. Don't do him like that. Yo, he's still cooking, this pink guy. But purple is killing his uh, fishing. Because at this point with English, you would rather have farms, so you, you can get gold. So that's a good choice. No, don't do him like that. Oh, pink's making some units on land, but Teal's got way more, man. And Teal got nothing to lose. I mean, he's dead on his main island. He's got no ships. Oh, no, no, don't. So funny thing is, Orange has no scouting, so he's literally like completely clueless what's happening here. And he will close. He's completely clueless like if this guy's got any units or not. And blue, bro, look at this. <laughs> Imagine you're blue, you just recovered from yellow. <laughs> and this is what you see. I mean, now you just leave, I think. Now you just say, all right, well. And uh, pink and blue are looking like the next players to go out. Yellow is trying to like siege orange, but this can go down very easily to a lot of different players, I think. TC, main TC is right there. His other landmark is there. And he is looking pretty dead. Pink is getting cleaned up right now. Ruigi, and he's about. To, oh my god, and purple is about to attack red. Dude, these guys are like. Every single time, they're like attacking when the other guy isn't there. Five head. And purple doesn't know. Purple does not know what's coming to him. He's getting surrounded. How many ships is this? 14 versus... Oh, it's pretty equal, but I mean, red's reinforcement is right here. Red, you gotta attack, brother. Oh no, did we just... <gasps> Dude, I think we just missed 
Orange losing half of his army, if not more. To yellow. I think he was in transport ships and he got dented in. Fuck, I wish I saw that. If there was only a way for me to go back, you know? Like that. Like I press here on the top right and it goes back a little bit. Technology is not there yet. Not there yet. Dude, Blue is still cooking, guys. He's still alive, Copium. I don't know why Orange didn't kill him. Like, what's the... I don't know. Yellow is getting defeated. Slowly but surely. What does Yellow have? Not a lot. He does not have a lot. He needs to, like, uh, uh, land somewhere. He's got seven workers. He needs to land somewhere on work with workers and, and, like, start doing something. The Berkshire goes down and all of a sudden Red looks like he's in a little bit of trouble. Remember, Purple has another island. He's got golds, he's got stone, he's got some wood. Actually, uh, who was this guy? Green. He did not spawn with a lot of wood, by the way. He kind of got fucked for wood. He got like one wood line and that's it. I just realized that. Like most most of the other guys, like look at this. Wood, 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 wood. Wood, wood, wood. He got one tiny wood line and that's it. Can Orange see Mongol? For sure. I mean, there's no way. Like, he didn't scout through. Like, he knows he's here. See what I mean? Like, it's an island. It's not like he can put his landmarks in transport ships. That's why it's kind of weird that he's not killing him. Because he definitely, like, went to eliminate uh, Yellow, right? Oh, oh, the TC is shooting at his workers. <gasps> no. Dude, he was about to leave. Oh, wait, he's like, no, I am going to leave. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. That was a close one. That was a close one. Okay. Teal is on the middle, but this is what Teal doesn't realize, and I don't know if the other guys are gonna realize. You know what's the problem in, in Teal's case? Well, his both landmarks are right here. And if other players realize that, they can just... Dude, if Orange just drops here, he, he's gonna eliminate him. Like, that's it. Yo, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> is, this, is this gonna be the saddest wonder ever? <laughs> it's got enough to kill him! <laughs> oh no no! Bro, where are your units? Oh god, bro, what's your supply? Oh, oh god! <laughs> oh god! This was not the time to make the wonder, I can tell you that. Wait, they can reach the wonder from here. I'm 99% sure. <laughs> that wonder is not gonna be there for long, guys. I'm just gonna say that. Yo, yellow's last landmark! Yellow is trading. Yellow is trading. But this is his last landmark. But probably nobody knows that it's his last, his last landmark. Oh, no. Dude, Teal really thought he was cooking something here. Hmm. Teal really thought he was cooking something up. Oh la la, oh la 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 la. Bro, why do you have trebuchets in the middle? Maybe he was destroying something earlier? I don't know. Wonder Tracker 12 13 minutes basically. Yo, is purple gonna kill a yellow? 
Yellow did not repair any landmarks, by the way. Okay, cauldrons. I, if he made like pure cauldron here, I can see him holding actually. I can see him holding. Because not everyone has a land army. Like what, this guy's making rams? This guy got land army, but that's it. Nobody else does. And now Mongol is breaking through with chatted arms. Damn, this guy's like a, just never dies. Is he shooting in his own barracks that's not even built yet? Huh? Dude, kill the landmark! Pink, what are you doing? What are you doing, Step Pink? Why are you shooting me? I don't... Who knows? Oh no... He... Wait, oh he has, okay, I thought he has no villagers. Okay, he has some villagers here, he's trading. A sad trade, but he is trading. Okay, rams are coming. They do have the upgrade, the juiced up upgrade. And they're coming through. Teal's gotta respond right there. Teal's gotta respond. Red is AFK. He does not give a shit about what's happening on the map. Pink. Okay. Okay. All right. Now oh, come on now. Mm -hmm. He's pumping. Here we go. Dude, yellow is like praying that his landmark doesn't get killed right now. I mean, there's not much he can do. Oh, 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 what is this? Seven men at arms? Seven men at arms about to drown? And down they go, brother. Oh, he's, he's like going for a different angle. But there's not much, there's not much of an angle here. What did you say, motherfucker? That was pretty funny. And the wonder tracker is nine minutes, by the way, and I'm not seeing much progress. They killed a keep here. These traps are still shooting in empty space. Like, I feel like if Orange doesn't do it, this game is over. Because nobody else is actually doing anything to... To contribute. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Bro, you gotta repair. The great bombards go down on this side. He is repairing, he's holding. And orange is just right-clicking. And surprisingly, that is not working. He just... He just lost his whole army. And now, the wonder is eight minutes to go. There is one more person that could potentially do it. And that is purple. Or orange again. Maybe Mongo. Mongo is the wild card. And red says, you know what? I know there's a wonder. I, underst I hear you, right? I understand what you're saying. But... What's that purple? You're trying to take care of the wonder? Yeah, I don't care. What I want to do is I want to beat your ass. Mm -hmm. He's like, I don't give a fuck about anything else. I just want to destroy you. He kills his whole fleet, which funnily enough is going to free up space for rams and bombards for purple. 
Orange gets cleaned up on the middle. Completely. And we got seven minutes remaining right now. Seven minutes. Purple and red are fighting. Pink? Not doing much right now. He does have a big army. But he needs to kind of uh, make transport ships and actually go to the middle. Blue is coming in. Blue is coming in hot. Okay, units are unloading. Purple is coming in hot. Purple is trading. Yellow is trading. 16 gold per minute or per trip and 16 wood. But he does have a lot of traders, so it's kind of working out. And now, Blue is landing with just men at arms. Don't think that's gonna work because there's 27 crossbows, elite crossbows. But, you know, he's, he's trying, he's doing stuff. Can't say the same for red and. Well, just red. Uh, yellow. I mean, to be honest, as, as yellow, like, what are you gonna do? You know? You got no eco. You're kind of screwed. So as yellow, you're kind of praying that shit works out. The wonder is getting hit. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes remaining. The Mongol men-at-arms have landed. He's gonna pull his army back. It's like AFK over there. The rams keep on coming. Does he have resources? Oh, he's got he's got 16,000 fucking wood. Bro. Oh, look at his... Teal, where's your production? He's got two barracks, two stables, and one siege workshop in the middle, and, that's, and one archer range. Oh, la, la. Oh, la, la. And the funniest part is, if they just dropped here, they could have killed his landmarks. <laughs> Wonder Tracker, 4 minutes and 15 seconds. This ain't looking good, brother. Oh, great bombard. Okay, doing some damage. But they're getting pushed back. Mongols got nothing. Oh no, is pink gonna be the savior? Three or four minutes remaining. Is pink gonna do it? Purple is still making stuff. A little bit here and there. He's upgrading stuff now. Bro, he can just make trebuchets. Just make like five trebs and beat his ass. That's it. Yellow is trying. He's gonna get a key. I mean, that's something. I told you you can reach. Pink is coming in hot. Pink is coming in hot. And Teal has so many resources, but he has no production whatsoever. Look at this. He's got so much shit queued up. He's making some production now, but is it too late? Yellow is attacking the wonder. Red, bro, don't, don't, red. seeing some some strong attacking coming in the wonder is taking a lot of damage his sprinkles gonna target the, the, the ships he's shooting with a lot hold up yeah you repair 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 the wonder he needs to shoot the fuck
I did not expect that. Out of all things, I... Yo, man. <laughs> I can't believe he got fucking mangled out. Wow. That... That's something. Out of all the units, I would not imagine mangled out to be the unit of choice for an island map. And now we do see yellow is back in full power. Look at that income. 1.2, 1.4k. Bow chance galore right now. He's got a shitload of bow chats. I think he only has five workers, by the way. He should maybe make a town center. And just like that, Teal got destroyed on the middle. And he does not have much remaining. He's trying to hold on here. <clears throat> but what is the play? Pink lost his whole army. And funnily enough, for nothing. Because he got killed by, by yellow, so he didn't even need it. They gotta start eliminating each other on land. Because right now what they're doing is they're just trading ships. Red's eco, he's got 4k wood, but he is out of wood. And this is the point where you kind of have to rethink what you're doing a little bit. The best position right now in the whole game is probably unironically yellow, blue. Wait, Orange didn't even get all his wood. Huh? And I would say Purple is in a decent spot. Let me see Purple's wood. I mean, he's chopping with 25, so he's still he's still chilling. And once Red loses this, like... You know, you, you can't remake too many. I mean, that's it. Look, out of wood. Zero income per minute. Purple is trading too. He's getting a decent amount. So that's nice for him. And uh, yeah. The other guys are just chilling. And we only have one player dead, by the way. One hour and 20 seconds. One hour and uh, four minutes in. We have one player dead. That is a kick W. Yeah, Diablo's in the chat is <laughs> the knife. Kick W. Cause they're killing the ships. They're like yellow for example. Like he's doing a good job killing ships. But he needs to actually land on like Orange's base and you know actually kill his stuff. Teal is gonna clear up the purple from the middle. He's still got a lot of wood to work with here. And it's so funny how nobody realizes that his base is literally wide open to just kill, get killed. Purple's gonna try to defend a little bit. He gets absolutely dented. And, I mean, yellow is just trading so fucking much now. Wait, what if... Okay, yellow is in the best spot. Okay, he repaired his landmark. I was gonna say, imagine if he's, like, in a really good spot, and then he just loses the landmark and the game ends for him. That'd be kind of sad. Can Mongo go for wonder? Yo, Mongo can go wonder! Dude, Mongol is gonna go wonder. That's why he's making siege workshops. Bro, stop making Mangodice. You're embarrassing yourself. I'm getting a second-hand uh, cringe embarrassment. What other options do you have? Dude, Mongol? Dude, it would be so epic if Mongol ends up winning. Because he was down and out twice, right? And then they just left him alone. Imagine if he ends up winning. And he is making a lot of towers, but a lot of towers are cool. What he needs is a lot of Springles. If he makes pure Springle plus tower, he is in a good spot. Like you only, okay, some Mangonels too, but Springles is what you need to snipe the ships. And okay, he does have improved Springled and improved movement upgrade too. So Springles got 13 tile range right now. Okay. 
he should probably hide his landmark like one here one put it next to the wonder because you don't want to get eliminated but he should unload the stupa so he gets stone because now you don't get stone okay he's killing the fishing ships okay moving pastures red is killing more ships yellow is killing orange I mean, I don't mind Wonder here too, like it's right in the middle. And he's got a shit ton of towers. He's selling food. Look at him. He's printing. So he has a lot of barracks. Oh, but he, he did, wait. So he has wood and food and he, okay, he's making a Wonder now. But what he needs, he needs to upgrade like uh, archers or spearmen or something so that he can, um, You know, actually make normal units too. And one thing that I'm kind of worried about, his army is not that big. Like, that's nine sprinkles. Nine sprinkles is not a lot of sprinkles. And what does he have? Mangudai? And 11 men-at-arms. Like, that's not a big army. At all, actually. Wait, Teal can go for sacred side. No, I think Uh oh, here we go. He just needs Springles. Let Springles do the work. Mm, this thing has 10 tile range. <clears throat> Springles can just kill all of this. Like, Springles destroy. No, 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 don't go forward. <clears throat> just shoot, brother. Just shoot. Just shoot. That's right. Look at that. They're just plopping down. And the funny part is Red is killing towers at the worst angle. Like, if he killed these towers, it opens up for other players to, like, come from that side. But he's killing these towers that people are probably, probably not going to push from here, right? The wonder is 13 minutes. I don't like that he unpacked his white stupa. He should have definitely left it, you know, on the ground so he gets more stone. Oh. And whole red fleet goes down, by the way. He is remaking. Oh, la la. Is anyone moving? <clears throat> is anyone doing anything about this? Uh, okay, blue has 11 Springles. Definitely needs more Springles. That, that's for sure. These are just, these are Baglas. I thought they're Hulks. Or whatever they're called, Springle ships. Oh, they are Baglas. Oh, Xebek is the last one. Right, right, never mind. <clears throat> Eighty-seven men at arms and nine great nine great bombards. So Teal wants to kill this because he wants to capture a sacred site. He's got scholars here, so Teal is gonna try to go for sacred site. He's got two minutes to capture it. And if he doesn't capture it, it's over. Well, it's over as in if he doesn't capture it, then there's no point capturing it after. They're fighting on this side, but these are bow chats versus buglas, so that's not gonna end too well. Yellow's killing purple. Red's attacking middle for some reason now, and I'm not sure what is happening, but... No one's really attacking blue right now. Two people that have an army? What? 
the fuck is he making? Huh? <clears throat> okay. Wonder Tracker, 11 minutes. He cannot capture the sacred side in time. Red is chopping the wood in the middle. Is this... No one's moving towards the top. Do they not know? Red knows because Red attacked Blue. Right? Un like, why else would he attack him? But no one's moving. Oh my god. Orange is trying to make transfer ships to move. And he is losing transfer ships and ships to... Uh... Red is making a town center. Uh, okay, we got movement. That is a lot of units in that bitch. That's like 10 great bombards and 100 men at arms. He's for sure not gonna lose them, right? Oh. He's for sure not gonna lose them, right? I mean, no one's moving north. Like, I don't know if purple is just defending here or he's trying to go north. Blue is probably like shitting his pants right now being like, yo, they're about to arrive at any moment now. Seven and a half minutes to go. Oh god. He's scouting with... He's scouting with one ship. He's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yo, just... Yo, just send it, dude. Go for it. Oh god. Oh god. Guys, this is... He has 200 supply right now. Oh no! no! <laughs> Yo, he's stuck! Yo, he's stuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> That was their only chance of winning. <laughs> that was their only chance of winning and he just fucking dented him in. Bro. That, that was literally their only chance of winning because I think that Orange would have busted through this. Oh no. Red, I mean Red's trying, he's going north. He's gonna bring villagers. Okay, purple is going north too, so they do realize. Five minutes, five and a half minutes to go. I mean, they do realize, but it's like one of those, you know. Oh no, brother. Dude, I wonder if they were, I wonder if orange was like molding in game, like you fucking idiot. <laughs> you fucking idiot, there's a wonder. Okay, Springles are doing work. I mean, they can't do anything. They got no army on land. They just got ships. Yellow doesn't give a fuck. He's just AFK. What is he doing? What is what is happening? Does he- is he trying to like go wander or something? He has no stone. I gotta be honest. Smoke weed every day, I think he passed the joint to yellow, dude. I think yellow is- is like out of this game in his mind. I think he definitely snuck in a- like you know when he was eliminating his landmarks? He definitely like dropped the joint and, and yellow smoked it, dude. Four minutes. Two. 
Yellow is winning in his head. Yep. Well, three minutes to go and there are no land units in sight. Oh, Yellow's like, man. Yellow's like, yo, there's a wonder. Yo, there's a wonder, guys. Well, let me just keep fucking orange me one. Orange is bringing <laughs> Orange is bringing more transport ships. He's trying so desperately to get out. Uh, I gotta say, I mean, one hour and thirty-three, almost thirty-four minutes, and we got seven players alive. And this game is gonna end in the most gold way possible by a player going one versus six with a wonder and nobody attacking him nobody's going for him oh my god oh my that was all teal's units that just died Steel tribe. Uh. <laughs> Listen, in Orange's defense, he thinks that this is a wall, so he's trying to climb on it. You know, he's he's just out of his mind right now, so don't. He's just yeah. He thought he's climbing on walls over here. Wonder Tracker, five seconds, and yeah, that, that's a little bit too late to come with transfer ships. And I gotta say, this is the most gold, gold game we've had. And this is, I think, the, the biggest Wonder victory we've had, right? Six players alive? I don't think we've had more than that. Or technically seven, right? But versus six. Amazing. He has done it. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, he was almost dead twice, and this is what I always say, man. You cannot... You should not leave games. You know, Diablos, if you didn't leave, maybe you would have won that. Just saying. 60s got the most gold, military-wise. Market got second lowest units killed in the game. Diablos got 19, Market got 190. Pink, that has been eating his boogers for the past 45 minutes, got 195. Think about that. Think about that. The most kills is yellow. I mean, the amount of transport ships he has killed, filled with units that were trying to take down the wonder, was too damn high. That guy killed about 400 units in transport ships trying to get to that wonder. You know, market grats, well played. Amazing. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. The next one we will be doing is going to be the platinum gold, plat, not platinum gold, platinum free for all on Archipelago. And if you notice me wearing the same shirt in the in the next video, that's because I'm about to cast it right now. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, check me on Twitch. I'm probably live right now. If you're watching on Twitch, Let's keep going.